revoir, my onion-eating French froggies out there. Welcome to Monaco. Welcome to France. Yes, welcome to Monaco in the Formula One with the uh, UK CD guys. And oh my God, would you look at the fucking graphics? And I'm going to say that with an underlined bold under the word fucking. Oh my God, this game is incredible. <laughs> yes, we're, this is an actually a uh, private game. And we're having a little bit of a practice because we've decided we're going to set ourselves a bit of a challenge coming up which is to do the fastest lap in a formula one car around monaco and oh my god this track takes some serious concentration i'm not kidding the first couple of laps when you actually start out in a race you tend to bump into the walls uh it's slower and slower but the, the more times you go around the track the faster and faster you get, uh, that particular section as you're about to see in a minute when we go around the second lap, I'll show what it's like in the vehicle, is just ridiculously fast. Uh, but you do get used to it and that's that's part of it, a little bit of a shunt there. So as we come around this bend here, flat down, foot down, as fast as we can bloody well go, all the way to the end, screaming down here. and. Um, Unfortunately, I was too busy looking at the bloody graphics to get my right-hander in. There's a really, really tight little chicane there, a little, little island bump. And if you miss that, you're in trouble. You hit it too fast, it actually bounces you into the wall, so it really is a little bit of skill in that one. Absolutely flying up here, straight down into third gear. You actually want to go a little bit faster than you need to around that little top section. Um, bombing down here audio absolutely amazing at this point it really is a fantastically amazing sounding game really tight little section this uh, slowing is the premise before we come around here trying to get it in early before we scream down to the tunnel and slam the brakes on as we get to the hundred meter mark before we get that really tight little s bend down the bottom here Now as we take this left hander here, this is a really, really fast section. This screaming through there, absolutely foot to the floor before immediately, as soon as you've got up to the fullest high speed you can get to, you've really got to get on them brakes and get the speed down before we come around here for the last section. So this has just been a really quick look at Monaco. It's definitely a fantastic track. Really is quite tight and intricate and it's not the easiest track to actually um, overtake on maybe on this straight once we've set up the uh, the DRS and everything else the curves which I haven't actually done as yet uh, but definitely a trap for you to try if you want to wow and show off to your friends just how freaking amazing this game is on not only the audio but also on the graphics This is actually some uh, footage from an actual race we had. After we'd done the practice, we went in and I had an absolutely blinding first lap. Managed to get away on the rolling start in second position, but due to the guy in first position spinning it on the start line, I got away. As you can see, a couple of little bumps here. Tires are still cold. Screaming down here through the tunnel, uh, over 230, is it 270 kilometers an hour before we straight back down on the brakes into this little chicane really really tight careful you don't spin it there by putting too much accelerator on straight down here dropping it a gear getting in nice and early and this section here is really fast really really fast foot to the floor uh, before we come into this really tight section again and it's a matter of just relaxing on this tight little u-bender at the end don't try and over speed it just take your time coming around go a little bit wide before coming in before flooring it right straight down here as fast as you can go straight down to the end before we go down to lap two now the good thing about this game is is that i may be in first position now but as you can see i was looking in my mirrors to see how close the other drivers were behind me and catastrophe 
and that's what's great about this game if you're in first position it certainly doesn't mean that you're going to be a first position when the race ends because this is full sim full sim physics slightest little mistake you make on the accelerator or blipping it too much with the brake as you turn in too much oversteer understeer and you spin your car and that's it you're literally driving constantly on the edge with the formula one cars uh, and that's what makes it so exciting so even though i've lost is it three positions now it doesn't mean my race is over far from it i'm actually enjoying this more than i was at the front being at the front my heart was pounding <laughs> the adrenaline thinking how long can i keep on to it and uh from here on it's just a matter of me trying to settle in and try and pull a few positions back. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Just a quick look at the Le Manico, you onion eating bastards, yeah. And um, like it or not, play it or not, you know, it's up to you. You can play whatever that fuck you wanna play. I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna be looking at go karts. Oh yeah. Fucking little speedy bastards. See you in the next video, bye bye.